But the old saying goes, it's better to burn out than to fade away. And that's truer than ever when we talk about cars. Some names show incredible longevity, but in the end sort of lose something that makes them special. The Camaro luckily sidestepped this by going away for a while instead of suffering the indignity of a prolonged stretch of mediocrity. This dormant period worked out in Camaro's favor. While rivals like Mustang and Charger were fighting for dominance in this new resurgence of American muscle, Chevy was quietly crafting their own contender with a focus on performance and handling. This made the fifth generation Camaro wildly successful. This year, the Chevrolet Camaro comes back in its sixth iteration. Leaner, nimble, and more powerful. To experience it for ourselves, Chevy gave Digital Trends a unique challenge. Take the new Camaro from Orlando, Florida to New Orleans and find new roads. With the promise of sun, citrus, and jambalaya, we were more than happy to answer the call. The 2016 Camaro has three power plants available. The 2-liter turbo 4-cylinder, the 3.6-liter V6, and the mighty 6.2-liter V8. Drawn at random, we scored the keys to the V6 model that was married to a 6-speed manual transmission. The look of the 5th gen Camaro was a huge factor in its success, and Chevrolet rightfully realized that a wild departure in styling wouldn't exactly be the smartest move. That's why the new 6th gen is more of a natural evolution of the previous version style. The whole package is meant to be more athletic and lean, sporting a shrink-wrapped body over a muscular structure. Beneath the service is GM's Alpha platform, which is also the basis of the Cadillac ATS. That's a good thing because the structure is designed for lightness and excellent weight distribution, particularly for rear-wheel drive vehicles. The result is that the Camaro, like the ATS, feels incredibly balanced and nimble. Purists grumbling that it's simply an ATS in the guise of their favorite pony car need not worry, as the Camaro is made up of 70% unique components. It's lost at least 200 pounds since the last version while upping the rigidity up by 28%. The result is a car that feels very taut and easy to throw around if so inclined. The car feels very small and tight and compact and that's to its benefit, but at the same time, I feel like it's wrapped around me right now. Getting the Camaro to do what you ask of it is incredibly easy, and it doesn't feel keen to slip out from under you when you're giving it to beans. Other changes to the interior include swapping out the manual handbrake for an electronic one, which frees up center console room, contributing to a smoother range of motion while shifting. With the Camaro having solidly re-established itself, there's no need to forcibly work the retro stylings of classic cars into the modern vehicle. What that means for the cabin is the exclusion of throwback gauges and air conditioning controls. In their place is a pair of vents and a simple strips of climate control options beneath an 8-inch color display where navigation and infotainment functions are found. The 8-inch screen is home to pages of different apps that are easily accessible, as the touchscreen works in a manner familiar to the latest smartphone and tablets. Not sure what to do? Instinctively swipe or pinch and zoom the map and you'll usually get the desired result. Like its big brother the Corvette, the Camaro has selectable drive modes that alter the characteristics of the car. Through the integrated OnStar system, the Camaro can also be a roving 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, which is so stable we were able to video chat with family members eager to see the interior of the car. By the time the sun set, the Camaro had devoured over 400 miles, and we had reached the National Museum of Naval Aviation, stopping to admire the F-14 Tomcat on display. We felt that this was an appropriate time to make further use of the OnStar service to find us a place to stay in the Big Easy. Thank you for calling OnStar, this is Erica speaking. How can I assist you on your fine new road trip? Hi Erica, uh, we need a hotel. We continued our journey into the night, and after 650 odd miles, we arrived in downtown New Orleans. As dawn rose the next day, it was time for us to saddle up again and explore the town's history-laden streets. 600 consecutive miles is plenty to get a feel for what the V6 power plant is capable of. The 3.6 liter engine produces a very reasonable 335 horsepower and 284 pound-feet of torque, but it somehow felt a little lacking when the pedal was to the metal. That's plenty of power to have fun with, no question. But even with a 0 to 60 of 5.2 seconds, it felt like the Camaro was meant to do better. It's clear that the Camaro was meant to house the 455 horsepower 6.2 liter V8. Whichever engine you choose, the Camaro rides on the independent front and rear suspension that made it a star. The Mustang may have finally ditched the live rear axle and gained some sporty characteristics, but the Camaro arguably feels more sports car-like through the corners. By journey's end, we had learned a lot of our stalwart travel companion. It may not be the best tourer, but its refined ergonomic interior means it's comfortable and easy to command for exceptionally long stretches. We liked the V6, but we also longed to see what the V8 is capable of. It was time to part ways, but we had one last stop to make before going home. On March 27th, 1981, my dad, fresh to this country, got construction work on this bridge. After a quick payphone call, I remember those, right? He finds out that his young wife had given birth to his firstborn son. And that's where my story begins. And that's where my journey to rediscover old roads concludes. Chevy challenged us with finding new roads, and after over 600 miles, it's clear what this means for the Camaro. Bringing back a classic name badge often means looking back at the good old days and trying to recreate them with the retro styled modern versions of the car. 
there's value to that, but it's clear that with the 2016 Chevrolet Camaro, it's all about finding new roads, looking forward, making new memories, telling new stories. This Camaro gave me the opportunity to discover a bit of my past. And thanks to this, I'm even more eager to see what the future holds.